Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how to troubleshoot a smart valve. So the smart valve here, I have pipes over here, kind of have a little testing area with a orifice right here. We have our pilot tube coming in right here. This is our 24 volt hot surface igniter, and then you have your flame sensor right here. So that is sitting right here. Coming off the top of the smart valve, you have you have this hot surface igniter right here. All right, if you can see that. This one right here is a 24 volt hot surface igniter, and then this is the flame rod. And that's what we have right here. This is the hot surface igniter with the blue wires coming off of it. That's the factory, one from the factory. And then this is a black wire right here this flame sensor so the flame proving process for a smart valve is that it's going to send ac voltage from the black wire on the top of the smart valve through this flame sensor rod into the flame and then this ground tube right here is going to pick it up and bring it back to the gas valve on the ground as far as the hot surface igniter is concerned what you can do is you could actually test for resistance right here. You would just put one probe in here and one probe in here and we'll set that multimeter on ohms and you can test for resistance to see if this hot surface igniter is cracked. We can just go ahead and turn our multimeter to resistance and we can test that. All right, our resistance reading on this one is 3.2. Okay, that's the one in my hand right here. 3.2 ohms of resistance. Let me check this one because that hot surface igniter is a little warmer and that means that the resistance value is probably going to be a little bit higher. Okay, so we got 4.9 ohms of resistance, 5 ohms of resistance. Let me see. I'll turn that light on so you can see it. This is a little different than the newer gas furnaces. This hot surface igniter is actually 24 volt hot surface igniter and not 120 volt. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to change out that hot surface igniter and flame rod assembly. So you just take a small flathead screwdriver and then you pull this little ring up and then you can just slide this back out. All right. This one is a silicon nitride hot surface igniter so it looks a little different than the OEM um, carbide hot surface igniter and this one tends to hold up better. All right. But uh, you can just stick with the uh, OEM on that if you'd like. That's how it looks. Right here you have a four pin connector, okay? Four pins, and you have four different wires coming off. You have your white, blue, orange, and black, okay? And they come right off the top of the smart valve. And what it is, is the white wire right here. That is actually the common wire. Your black wire is 24 volts into the smart valve relay. Now the blue wire, when the blue wire has 24 volts on it right here, this blue wire, when that has 24 volts on it, it tells the heat sequence to go ahead and turn on. So the hot surface igniter turns cherry red, it gets 24 volts, turns cherry red, and then it's sending pilot gas through the pilot tube and it's trying to light the pilot. I will say that these smart valves are very quick with uh, checking with the flame rectification and um, having the pilot flame out. It does not have to heat anything up. It's just flame rectification. There's no uh, uh, mercury rod or there's no thermocouple or anything like that. Okay, so it is flame -tip. Okay, so here's an up close of the Honeywell Intermittent Pilot Control Smart Valve. There's actually four versions of this particular um, unit. And just so you know, the color wires that I have on my four prong connector may be different than yours. So I just want to go over them. So in this video, you have this one right here is the white wire and it's the common right here. That is the 24 volt hot all the time. That's black going in. This one here is the 24 volt blue wire that's coming from the thermostat or the pressure switch and then this is the orange 24 volt wire coming out once the main gas is flowing 
So after the pilot's lit and after the main gas is flowing, you have this EFT is being powered. That's electronic fan timer. That's where it's going or to some other fan uh, timing relay such as a sequencer or something like that. Also, you have these two right here are going to the hot surface igniter. So if you want to test that, you should get 24 volts coming off of that. Uh, and right here, you have the flame rod. So you would measure here and the ground. And on most of these smart valves, you're looking at right around 150 to 180 volts going to the flame rod. Over here, this is where the uh, pilot tube connects right here. You take this Phillips head screw out and then that's for your pilot adjustment. It's a flat head screwdriver. You just use an eighth inch thermostat flat head screwdriver. Here is your tap for your output coming out of the gas valve. All right, right here you have a tap for checking your input gas pressure coming into the gas valve. And then you have this uh, flat head screwdriver cap. You're going to take that off and, and this is your adjustment for the main gas going through the gas valve to the output. And then this is your vent line. The reason I have these hooked up with the alligator clips right here with black and blue is because I'm going to power both at the same time. And I'm going to come back through white. Now you see I have these alligator clips right here. These are going to my multimeter. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that on to volts. Because if we have, so for, for, for your knowledge, or so you know, if you have 24 volts on blue and on black in this connector right here, okay, and you're te testing with the other probe in common in order to get the 24 volt reading on your multimeter, then you should have the heat sequence occurring, which means that you should have 24 volts coming off of these two blue wires right here in the connector. Here's an up close right here. Okay. So you should have 24 volts on, on those two wires going to the hot surface igniter. What I'm reading is this orange wire coming back. This is going to be 24 volts out of the smart valve when the flame is proven and after the main gas is flowing. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. This alligator clip is my common power, is my common for my power. And then this is my 24 volt power in. Okay, so we're powering black and blue, coming back through the white, and I'm going to read 24 volts on the orange with the white as the common when the flame is proven. So we're going to go ahead and light this thing. So you see our hot surface igniter is turning cherry red, and we have 24 volts to black and to blue. Now we're going to wait for the pilot to get lit and then for the main gas to flow through and then we'll have 24 volts over here on orange to white. So now our pilot's lit and it takes a second for that to uh, push the full gas through and we're there. All right, so now we have 24 volts is actually measured as anywhere from 24 to 28 and a half. And that's how all that's done. So we're going to go ahead and remove our voltage right here. And that will shut off the valve. Okay, so the same rules apply with this and other pilot ignition systems. Any type of ignition system, really. But you want to take some unsoaked steel wool and clean off the rod without hurting the hot surface igniter. Okay? That hot surface igniter is very fragile. Make sure that you do not break that. There are the silicone nitride. Uh, as people use them as a replacement, they're very good. Um, and that's a solid rod. And so that'll hold up a little bit better than this. But this is the OEM from the uh, when it was manufactured. You have a flame rod coming up right here. You want to steel wool that. Steel wool this uh, pilot tube right here. You want to make sure that that's nice and clean in order to get your flame rectification signal. Remember, your fl all flame rectification signals are carried back through a ground or a ground wire. All right, the power's off, and now we're going to go ahead and check the resistance of the hot surf igniter. So we're going to turn our multimeter to ohms. 
and we're going to check the resistance value of the hot surface igniter. And you see it reads 5.7 ohms of resistance. So we're going to go ahead and check what our volt reading is on the flame sensor. So we're reading about 180 volts right now and that was between the black wire and ground and now we're between black wire and the common for 24 volts. So, so that should be about the same. Okay. All right. 170 now. The voltage reduced because the hot surface igniter is glowing. So we have about 170 volts on that flame rod and it's checking for a flame. All right. Now I'm going to turn that 24 volts off. All right, so just so you know, you'd have power coming to this black wire right here, and then it would have to go through a thermostat, and then through, say, a uh, pressure switch, and any other safety relays and safety devices, like uh, high heat temp sensors, before it got to this blue wire. Once it gets to this blue wire, then it can go ahead and start the ignition process. But it can't do that until you have 24 volts on this and then also 24 volts on the blue. So this is a quick way of just kind of pulling your connections off of the rest of the furnace just to just to make sure and see if the smart valve is the problem. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you here today. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.